to begin, I have to admit that I am a grown man, and in this fantasy, I was a little boy. Weird, right? I remember having many friends trying to help me escape some people that were after me underground. Unfortunately, I found myself at a dead end, with bad guys fast approaching. I looked around, frightened, for any form of escape, and saw on the wall a very small sort of dumb waiter sort of elevator, and climbed in. This elevator looked small from the outside, but I was able to stand up in it, and there was even a sort of old lever that required me to lift it to go up and push it down to go down. I remember hearing the voices of the bad guys as I was going up and I was terrified. I kept going up in this elevator and suddenly I saw another little closed door and promptly stopped the elevator. I pushed open the small door and looked outside to see the inside of a stall. Curious, I got out to see where I was. Peeking out of the stall, I saw a little boy around the same age as me, washing his hands. Seeing me, he turned and asked where I came from. I showed him the small door that had lost its doorknob, so I couldn't open it. I was terrified. He said it was okay, and I could live with his parents if I wanted to. I followed him out of the bathroom to find myself in a very small train station, with all these women in elegant gowns and all these men in suits and top hats. They all seemed at ease and were talking to one another, seemingly waiting to go on the train which obviously couldn't carry that many people. He dragged me past the train and into a field just beyond it. The field was not entirely free. It had netted draped all over the top, quite high up, and was much like a sorted of an upturned bowl made of netting. The only way in or out was the entrance I had just entered through. It was beautiful, though. In the field was a quiet-looking house, which he took me to. His parents were outside, working on the garden. I was introduced, and the parents told me I could stay there if I worked, to which I agreed to. Now, I remember working the next few months in that area, sweeping off the train station and cleaning the small house, working. I remember in this time that the parents were actually horrible to the boy that introduced me to his parents, but whenever I entered the room, I was greeted and they were kind to me. I don't know why they were so unkind to their own child. My favorite area to stay was near the edge of the field, the closest to the train. I liked to watch it leave with all the elegant ladies and uptight gentlemen. I turned to look towards my new home, and I saw the old bad guys talking to my new family. Hurting them to find out where I was and turning, they saw me. They started to come towards me, and I was completely afraid. After all, this field was a prison with only one way in and one way out, which they were protecting. I had to get to my new family. I had to protect them. So I started running towards them. As I ran, all of a sudden, several coyotes came behind me. Scared, I looked around and saw them running at me and I ran faster. In desperation, I screamed, Why are you attacking me? You should be attacking those men to which they replied by slowly directing themselves in the bad guy's direction. After feeling amazed, I remember them taking their place behind me again. This time, I told them to attack the bad guys again with even more authority, and tried to not lose focus. They ran ahead of me and attacked the men at the entrance. Then, an eagle came behind me. I pointed to the people attacking my new family, and it flew ahead of me to deal with them. A bear also came to follow, and I sent him ahead of me to fight the bad guys. When I got there, my new family was already destroyed and could not recover. I knew I had to go before it happened to me too. I ran past the bad men, being attacked by coyotes, and ran into the restroom I first arrived in. This time, there was a doorknob, which I used to open it with. I climbed in pulled the lever up, and continue up until I saw another little door. Opening it, I woke up in my bed, 
staring up at my ceiling in befuddlement.